Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris, the Wily Warrior Clan series. I'm your host, Cause Fate. It's episode 15. It's the year 2473. We have about 27 years until the end game comes up and victory is determined. <clears throat> the 001 sequence is ahead of all of us. By a long way, they're so far, they're actually almost twice as big now in score as the Fallen Empire, which is ranked, and then we're behind them. We'd be doing good against anybody else, but the endgame crisis is upon us, the ghost signal, so we have refit our ships in preparation for most of that. Most of our ships here have been refit. And we have a little more room in our fleets. Our ships have been made superior. So I'm going to take, let's see. Our ships have been made superior. Oh, what is this? Retrofit that to that? I don't know why. Why is it? Ugh, this fleet manager is still just kind of a disaster. Um, what is this? What's going on here? What is going on here? The summons. Well, there it is. Continued analysis of the so-called ghost signals revealed that it is transmitting energy patterns nearly identical to those found in the positronic brains used by synthetic beings. It must be assumed that the signal is directly responsible for the mass disappearances and behavioral changes we have been observing in the galaxy's synthetic population. Strangely, not all synths seem to be affected by it, and among those that are, the symptoms aren't uniform. Many are apparently compelled to travel to what we assume is the ghost signal source in response to some kind of summons. Millions of synthetics from all over the galaxy are currently on their way towards the signal source in whatever space where the craft they could acquire. The first ones are about to reach their destination soon. Not good is right. So this is the murder of Uriah. Uriah, where is that one? Let's take a look at this murder of... <clears throat> Where is that one? Where is that? It's up here. So this is... These are all arcs. That's Titans. I just want to make sure they're all... The, the C in parentheses it's, means it's a um, contingency ship. It's designed to fight the contingency. I just want to make sure the whole fleet is set up for that. And it is. Um, so what I want to do down here... I'm not going to bother with that fleet reinforcing it. Or this one. Instead, what I'm going to do is worry about actually building the next fleet. This one. This is Murder of Trepato. So, we're going to change this to the Arc. The, the Contingency have ships that have a lot of shields and armor, but very little hull. So, if you just use the punch through weapons and try to defeat them that way, you have a, a little better chance strategically, according to the Wikipedia. Oh, we're going to use Penetrators going to use those missile classes yeah, and a bunch of those and then I still have do I have room for another Titan three of five yeah I do so I might do this with this fleet I'm gonna build several of those yep and we're gonna do that and I think we have 44k in alloy, so how much is it to build this fleet? 29. Great, go. We're building a ring world down here. Our sentry spire needs an upgrade. Now it says. So that's being built. We have a mega shipyard. I would like, once I get the sentry spire, the sentry array completely done and there it is once it's completely done then we will move on to a Dyson sphere we don't have a black hole anywhere in our empire so we don't have a chance to build a matter decompressor so we're gonna have to go find a black hole somewhere to take from somebody else so the contingency big big trouble in little China there with the contents. Um, this star base, where is that one? Not as big of a deal. What's this? That one right there. Okay. 
and that has a gateway, and we should do this. And build deep space black site. Let's get that up there. Let's upgrade that. Ring world construction. All right, we are now ready to begin the colossal task of doing that. We just spent a whole bunch of money <laughs> in alloys. <laughs> Upgrading ships and things, so what we're gonna do is sell some stuff, sell some food, and buy some more so we can hurry this up. Because we need to move pops. And that's gonna be a big part of that. On this planet, this relic world, research is king. On this, <coughs> we still have lots of jobs to create here with commercial zones. This planet is about to run out of housing, and we still have plenty of jobs here. So I'm going to raise that up for an additional job. Same thing with this store. They still have some housing. This is good. Here on this planet, they need six jobs. This will provide five more jobs, and this will provide two more jobs. Oh, no, three more jobs. And then they're going to need more housing, basically. So we should probably take this last slot and also build luxury residences there. These have some unemployed pops, and they're also starting to run into this situation where they're running low on housing, so we'll do that. And that hits our... Hits us pretty hard there. Colossus project is complete. So now, that is all done, which means I think we can build it wherever we want to. So if I want to go here... The shipyard, the Colossus, lacking, yeah, we need some alloys, and that's fine. I'm not worried about building the Colossus right now. I want to use it against the 001s, and I don't need it right now. We need to worry about the contingency. A quest from the Chinor Combine. Engineers from the Chinor Combine have been following the construction of our ring world from afar and are greatly impressed with our progress. They request our permission to station a team of engineers there to learn from our effort. And the Chinor Combine are minus 40... Ruthless capitalist, but I'm gonna say yes, sure, and it changes them by 40 and now they're zero, which is nice I'm also going to I'm just gonna give them one of our envoys I don't care about the Stupid zero zero ones anymore After spending several weeks on the ring world the engineers from the Chinner combine have now left despite their cultural differences Both teams are satisfied with the exchange and have learned much from each other. We gained some engineering research from that. That's nice Hab D says, hey, I'm going to need more jobs. What are we low on? We're low on volatile moats. So let's get some more moats in there. The arrival, and we lost two. Governor at Garner's Plant. I need a research person, please. This person or a new researcher. Who? Nobody reason. What's this? Unity from jobs and stability. Okay, I'm going to move this researcher over. And then in the other position... Right here? Yeah. I'm going to sign them. Get this psionics person. Okay, so here we go. The arrival... At least one synthetic must have completed the long journey to the source of the ghost signal because we are registering a sudden and massive increase in the signal strength. The surge was accompanied by a transmission fragment that has been intercepted and decoded by our communication specialist on screen. And there they are. Put the fleet on a full alert. So. We have our sapient combat computers malfunction. We changed all of ours. Except for, yeah, we changed them all and upgraded our ship. So we shouldn't have that much of a problem there. That guy can change, but all our ships should be okay in that regard. Uh-oh, all of a sudden we're taking a little hit to minerals. We can't, can't afford that. Our ships have been made superior. Machine world, a massive energy spike has been reported in the Borse system. So Situation let's find updated. Bors. Where is that at? Oh, hey. 
It's up here in the Hazard Collective. Well, too bad for you guys. That sounds like... That sounds like a bummer of a deal for you. I'm only worrying about my own little piece of the empire pie here. I don't care about the rest of you. Not important. Uh, Ecumenopolis. It's 20. Oh, I need more jobs. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to replace... We're going to replace this with one more of these. Oh, I need, I need to buy minerals. Oh, what, what's going on with our minerals? Second machine world in the Nigiro system. Which is going to be way over on the other side there. Okay. There's going to be four. And then uh, this this is a real problem here. What's going on? I'm going to stop buying those. Wait a minute. I need, to, I need to buy more. That was the thing. So I need to buy more. Let's, let's see if that fixes that problem because we're using so many and now we're minus on that so let's sell some more food and let's sell we need more money <coughs> we need a Dyson Sphere have been made superior. yeah we need a Dyson Sphere really bad um Third machine world in the Escant system. Situation log updated. We need to start selling some of these. We need to start selling some of these. That's just the hard truth of that matter. Okay, where's Escant? Where's that at? Down there. Okay, that's in Chinor Combine. We're going to have to deal with that. Sounds like a problem for them. Get some money going on here. Okay, that fixed things. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Army damage, fleet command limit. Yes, I want to get all the fleet command limits done. Get up to get up to two hundred and sixty. If you take even more than that, these get this is great. How much of these? Uh, Six thousand. Fourth machine world in the Withrilly system. So. Situation log updated. With really, which is right there, and it's right in the middle of zero zero one territory, which is awesome, perfect. And what do you guys have? Scientific. Yeah. Oh, two hundred and twenty-two thousand. That's a big one. We'll go in there and beat up on our buddies, will you? What unlocks the world cracker? Great. Um, sure. Get that out of there. So the ring world construction site. It's getting work done, which is great. Yeah, zero, zero, 001, they're really strong. They should be able to take care of you. No sweat. Perfect. The artisan troop has been destroyed. Oh, no. Hmm. Yeah, most of the time I'm like Johnny on the spot with going out here and helping kill all these things. But um, not so much this time. Is there a, there's a natural wormhole there to our place. Right there. So if they start to get over here... We gotta get worried. And they might. And look, this is the artisan troop there. That station might get blitzed here in a second. What about these guys over here? If there's anywhere where I think I can actually go help through a, a, a gateway, I'll go do it. Or a wormhole. But right now, I think the best thing to do is... Let's just let these guys handle it. Yeah, that sounds fun. Let them do that. Besides, this is this is terribly close to to our space. It won't take them long to move up here. And if they do, then this bastion needs to be ready to go. Um, and in fact, what this is Fleet Academy here. Titan Assembly Yards. I'm going to change this to uh, Defense Grid Supercomputer. And we're going to boost these defenses here. Scientific breakthrough that could achieved. be a problem. Energy weapon attacks with the global pacifier. What does the global pacifier do? We need to figure that out. Synth infiltration attempt. Small number of Wileys that emitted no mind glow whatsoever were recently discovered on Lyrum 1. All organic beings emit a mind glow, but the minds of these creatures were as dark and quiet as a slab of neoconcrete. 
Upon closer examination, the Wileys were revealed as synthetic infiltrators, presumably dispatched by the contingency. A thin layer of organic flesh had been grafted over their metallic endoskeletons, making them virtually indistinguishable from the Wileys to the eye. But not to the mind. Now that we know what to look for, any future attempts to the contingency by the contingency to use synth filters against this will prove futile. Ha ha ha. Yeah. So. Zero zero one. How come you guys aren't up here killing these guys? Come on now. Go make it happen. Yep, I need more of these, so. Let's go see if we can buy even more. Oops. Wrong there. Let's see if we can buy, go buy some more. Because we're going to need it. We gotta. We really need to move. We need to start moving pops. <laughs> to the ring world. And these bozos. Change council size to one. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to oppose that. Charter of Workers' Rights. Support. We need that to go to the top. T Yankee Conservation Act. Oppose. Reverence for Life. Oppose. This is what? Diplomatic weight from fleet power. Oppose. <laughs> Repeal minor military sanctions. Oppose. Oppose. I want this thing to get to the top. Move that to the top. And pass the moderate administrative sanctions. Fine. So we have gateways at all of our critical points here. This is what? 268 Scientific days away. Achieved. The world cracker. Okay, so now. Defensive platform hull points or armor hit points. I'm going to go for defensive platform right now because we're playing defensive. Our naval capacity needs to be improved a little bit. We can always do that with certain ones. These like this, uplifting this. A few more soldier jobs. Come on, give me. Give me, give me, give me. Do I need to sell even more of these? Probably. You need more jobs than... I can provide there, buddy. Uh, let's see, what are we still low on? Moats, and we're gonna be low on crystals because crystals are crystals go fast. That's the thing; they go fast. Not worried about turning on edicts for ships yet. We're gonna want to, but I don't think we need to do that until they're close enough for us to actually fight. Let's see what everybody's pathetic compared to us. Oh, these guys are equivalent now. Oh, oh their fleet power is superior. Their fleet power is still superior. I wonder if they really want to start a war with us in the middle of the contingency running around. Escunt. Actually, can we build the... I got an idea. Our Colossus might come in really useful. Uh, right about now. So if we go to Juggernaut Colossus, this is the Neutron Sweep Planet Killer component. It's very nice. It, uh, or we can use the World Cracker and just destroy the world. I might want to put the World Cracker on there, because here's what I'm thinking. About this. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go with mostly shields because of the contingency. So, yeah. Okay. Egg of Oblivion. <laughs> yeah. Colossus. Alright. Because uh, I think this could be... This would be way better than landing troops. So, let's go to the Mega Shipyard and build the Colossus. Construction and complete. use it to help put an end to this thing. We can come over here and we could take this. I think we can use the sterilization hub. I think we can just use it on their AI world. I think that will work. Maybe it won't. I've never done that before, but there's a 
There's a wormhole right there for us. Scientific so we could use this achieved. wormhole and sneak down in here and kill these guys. These are small. Well, 222,000. I don't really want to mess with that. Global pacifier. Shield hit points. Yeah, this... It's a lot. It's a lot of fleet power. There. It's kind of more than I want to. I want to entangle with right now. So we'll hope for some repeatable tech and some strength. These guys, though, what are they doing over here? Oh, they're finally on the move. It's a lot of fleet power. So they're gonna move around, and I don't know what what these dinglings are gonna do. Murder of Fouche. Refugees arrive. Well, yeah, that's gonna happen. Cab F. All right. It's a precarious financial situation we have ourselves in right now. Part of it is the ecumenopolis. We just. Oh. Are there no, there's still no more jobs? Even though I switched over some more of these? Jobs-based production, jobs-based upkeep. That's why our minerals keep taking a dive, because we keep making these. And, uh, oh, and it's because these, oh, these traded clerk jobs. Okay. All right, so it's just trading jobs. You guys need to go somewhere else then. Well, I'm not sure where you can go. I don't have anywhere else to send you. <laughs> Um, uh, send you to. I could send some of you to have E. There's a few people that could go there. Unknowns unleashed. Oh my. Okay, let's go to have E. We just sent a bunch of people over there. Galactic Stock Exchange. Yeah, I really need a black hole. I need a black hole in a major way, so... I'm surprised I didn't have one in my empire. I almost always have one. Um, It's almost never anything I ever have to really worry about, and then we're short on it. We don't have one. So... Geez, where is the nearest black hole? Incoming transmission. Oh yeah, who's this? Invite into federation. Wow, you guys want me to be part of your federation? Diverse ethics impose a fit. They're spiritualist. I'm gonna decline for now. Thanks. I might want to be a part of your federation in a little bit, but right now I'm just gonna decline and try to kind of try to ride this out on my own. And if we end up with enough money, are the Marauder Clans gone? Yeah, they are. They were destroyed, because now we can't hire them. Oh. Dang. Darn it. <laughs> I was thinking. Benevolent Interventionists. Form Federation requires excellent relations or an envoy sent to improve relations, which I can't do. It's interesting that it's there, though. They're like, yeah, we would do that. Acceptance. We'd form a federation with you. <laughs> That's funny. They would, but... That's interesting. Oh, look at you guys. Struggling. Where, where are all your ships? You're supposed to be superior to me. Superior fleet power, but I see these guys coming. Am I going to be the one who has to put a stop to them? Or are you guys going to do it? Cowards. Okay. See, I don't know. This mega structure, Sentry Aerials, with a multitude of ship production berths supplied from a hyper efficient processing core, the mega shipyard's output eclipses that of any other starbase. It's giving me the, me the mega shipyard description. So here we go. And if I go down and click on it, so there's a bug. 
you guys need to worry about their paradox. The artisan troop is getting their butts kicked. That sounds horrible for them. I need more of these. I'm going to buy those and I'm going to get these sentry aerials completed. Massive antennas. Get that done. And what about over here? 1700 days to the first ring world segment. And then we can start moving all the people over to it, which would be fun, fun, fun. Until your daddy takes your T-Bird away. Hmm. Oh yes, you are the research. Well, keep making jobs and keep doing research. We're up to 3k now, which is nice. It's not the best we've ever been, but... Trade network. Cha-ching. Producing almost 4,000 now. That's nice. Look at you guys. You just keep spreading. You're going to come right up here, aren't you? You're going to come right up there and go right there. And we're going to have to stop you. Scientist. Eyes of gold. Oh, well. Let me get somebody else's. Research speed. Oof. So research speed along with archaeology speed. Well, I don't want the archaeology, so I'm going to grab you. And where is where are you at there, buddy? Let's see. You're right there. Here's what I want you to do. Come down and assist research. We had you looking at wormholes, but I don't think we need to worry about that anymore. Who are you? The Econom Corporation. And then this is the Democratic Mirish Mandate. Here you guys are. A bunch of different ships. Just sitting here. Hmm. What is this? Council elections will Scientific be held. Hey, the Wily Warrior Clan's in second place. That'd be great. Maybe we could use some diplomatic weight to get some things done here and get automatic pop migration happening. That would be uber fantastic. I'd be really happy with that. Let's see about this. Where are we at? Because we're at, yeah, third. Oh, we're 3,000 greater than. Oh, no, we're not. The Econom Corporation has, has ascended us. Current top candidates. Hmm. Diplomatic weight at the time of election. Well, there's peace between the 001 and the. Oh. I made a white peace with the Awakened Empire. What is this? Oh. Well, now they're no longer at war, so now they may decide to come for us. We need to be prepared. I think their bigger concern needs to be these bozos, though. Honestly. They should not be worried about us. Vingim Prime. Where's Vingim Prime? Unemployment. Okay, right there. Uh, so yeah, let's see if we can move any of you anywhere. Do we have anywhere in our empire <laughs> that, that we can provide some jobs? Not really. Habs. Yeah, that's some of the Habs, BDNC, Vingen. Construction complete. Alien Megastructure. What does this say? Where it has reached us at the zero zero one and began the construction of a vast long range sensor array. Yeah, we've been doing that. Ours is almost done. So I don't know what you guys think, but. Ours is almost done. What we really and we need that to be done because we need to start building the Dyson Sphere really badly. <laughs> if we had a Dyson Sphere, life would get a lot easier. Of course, the, the Ring World as well. That's just the main thing. As soon as we get this, 
it's like, okay, whew, colonize it, get some people on it. What do you guys think? Zero, zero, 001 in the Hazard Collective, what do you guys think you're doing? You're going to that gateway there? Yeah, I won't feel good at all until this number doesn't say superior. <laughs> We have 21 years left to go, so if we want to be on the winning side, we're going to have to make a move fast. Now, look at this. Science it's got a lot of ships down here. Achieved. And a lot of ships there. I, I would recommend to you guys Incoming to go take them. Energy weapon damage. Shield hit points. Well, let's keep doing this. What? Migration treaty proposals? Sure, you know what? I'll accept migration treaty proposals because I don't mind having more people in my empire of different habitabilities. The Garners. Why does it still make some of these when these are the ones I've said to make? But look, we got a lot of red out on a lot of these other ones. That's nice. We've got a lot of, a lot better species over time. The Jagola. I'll have to fix them. The Mirish, they can be fixed at some point in time. Take some their pop housing usage. Take that off of there. That'd be good. This is the bulk of ours right here. There's 22 of these people in here. Unity from jobs. Hmm. Interesting. What else do we have for right now? We got. We should have some of these other edicts. Yep. Scientific revolution. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Let's use that. Not interested. Let's see how much we can turn on. We got 442k. We can turn on quite a bit. A grand fleet. Naval capacity. Ship upkeep. Will to power. Monthly minerals plus 33%. Please turn that on. Architectural renaissance. Mega structure build speed. Please turn that on. Those are all huge. Okay. And I got a couple other good ones for war. So that'll be it. Fleet command limit. Food from jobs. Well, we need to keep doing food from jobs. Fleet command limit. Okay. <coughs> make a structure build speed. That's the one of the biggest ones. You got to get that and make it go faster, faster. Yeah, and that shortens some time there. So that's good. Where's the dream that I've been after, Master? Migration treaty, a bunch of treaties and things going on. You guys aren't doing much about Several this. Several craven civilizations have joined together in a federation. Have they? Who's part of that federation? The Alliance of Sovereign Stars. Wow, so there's two of those in the Interstellar Accord. The Alliance of Sovereign Stars has four of them. That's interesting. And nobody's at war with anybody right now, which is pretty good, so. Democratic New Reach Mandate says, hey, our borders are open. Great. Well. I certainly applaud you all your efforts here. Okay, we're making some minerals now, so we don't have to buy as many. Because we got that edict on. Which means I don't have to sell as many of these. Let's see here. What are we short on? Volatile moats. Let's put some moats on there and raise this up for jobs. Got some room to build some things here again. Science. Science. Yeah. Bring me all the science. UFO 
folks here? What are you doing? Well, you're going to need more luxury, aren't you? More luxurious residences for your people. Tab C. I don't know what's going on with Tab C. Oh, you just need your people moved. Well, either that or this would provide some more jobs. But we have to wait. How much does this take? 213 more. End of the month and the end of the next month. And then we can build that for you. I'll take care of that. Minerals, kids. They're the king daddy. Gotta have them probably need to go back to buying some more because it's more important that we get more per month so we can build with so let's do that let's see let's go back to let's do that because that's important got to be able to build you guys are just you're really slow what are you your 36,000 sequence these guys aren't swarming the galaxy quite the way I thought they might the contingency over there. It's the Chinor Combine. Oh, look, though. They're getting very close to this. Sentry Array concluded. I like it. That's what I like seeing. Defense Grid Supercomputer. This fleet right here. How many fleets do I have? Oh, I don't have a leader on that fleet. Let's get them one. Ship fire rate or yeah, that that one. That guy's nice. Okay, what are you all you guys doing? Sit there. I want you to sit here. What is this? The accounting corporation. Because you guys are getting dangerously close to this area up here where I'm. How many how many units are there? That's the 220,000 one, and then there's these Turks. Okay, well, we're going to have to get in position with our fleets, aren't we? Ladies and gentlemen, put your tray tables and seats in the upright position. It's about to become messy. We're going to have to build defenses here. Let's... Yeah, once we get the defense grid supercomputer. We'll start, we'll start with an ion cannon and build a few other things. Hab A says, hey. I still have. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Great. What would that be? Minerals and jobs. Well, we need more of those. Um, and when we're not dealing with those, kinetic weapon damage would be great. Rising unemployment on Relic, yes. And Relic can be somewhat fixed. So here's what we can do about Relic. That'll give it a little bit more housing. Then we can do this for some more jobs. Let me take care of that. Look at what's going on up here. Immature specimen, 40,000. That has our collective. has a bunch of ships up there. That's nice. If you guys come up here by this natural wormhole, man, and decide to come through and attack me, I'm going to have to defend myself. I wonder if we should just go do it anyway. <clears throat> I'm worried about that, the 220,000. Because that's... But if you could do it... So you got to beat the 220,000, then you got to beat that, and then you got to come down here... And take this on. This is 90,000. So this is a lot of work to get down here and get this planet. This sterilization hub. AI core. So. There's a lot of work going on there. I don't know what you guys are all doing. Why aren't you throwing ships at them? Go throw your ships at them and weaken them. And I will swoop in and help take over. Senate is in session in 26. 
What is this? We're in, yeah, we didn't make it. We didn't make the final cut. We didn't have enough. These guys are all in breach of galactic. Wow. Breach of, breach of the Military Readiness Act. Oh, jeez. That's funny. Okay. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Energy weapon damage. All right. What are we at? We're at energy weapon damage and energy weapon attack speed. Keep those things even. Ring world frame completed. Oh, thank you. Thank you, baby. Oh my gosh. Okay. The frame's completed. Let's get one of these sections done. Ring section A. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Let's get that going. I want to get people moved over to it. This is a relic world full of research, ripe research opportunities. Put more research on there. That we're, are we at 4K yet? We're getting close, probably. The ring world. Thank you. Okay, so that means that we are now free. Well, we don't have enough alloys, but we're now free because the century ray is done. Completed century ray extends to cover the whole entire galaxy which is awesome we can see everything uh what are you guys doing who are you zero zero one thirty thousand okay i got 66 64 let's see i got this guy research and statecraft and research speed and psionics survey speed archaeological skill and research speed he's really good so we're going to tell him to do that now we're going to go back down to this ship. Let's see. Give us a new recruit. So, oh, statecraft as well. Again, take him. Now the ship has already performed this order. Okay. I only have the one ship. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Fleet command limit, leader lifespan, administrative capacity, army damage. Hmm. Oh, food from jobs. Yeah, since we're having a little problem with that. Anyway, we've got that done. We need to get the Dyson Sphere going. And so as soon as we can get enough alloys to do it, that's what we're going to do. And I think I can stop selling so many of my alloys now. I wanted to go back up to these ships and take a look at... Okay, let's take a look at all of these. This is 182 of 220. So what I would like to do is... Throw a few more battleships that way. Okay, let's do that. Murder of Katawa it says 190. Okay, well, let's do... Yeah, it's, this is a bug of some kind. Okay. More battleships. These cruisers. And two more of those. Reinforce fleet. We can't because we're at it. Alright. Same thing here. B arc. And the murder of Karkon battleship. He doesn't have a Titan. So if we add a Titan to him, because we have enough room, we add you one more battleship, one more of these, two more of those. Okay. Uh, if I'm going to want to do the Dyson Sphere, I need to spend a little less time upgrading ships or adding more ships to my fleets. Oh, look at you guys. You're, you're in there. Are you trying to bombard this thing? Sterilization hub? <laughs> I would be a little bit concerned about these guys coming back here and smoking you. Machine world destroyed. Hey. That's awesome. Good job. They got one of them. Well, good for them. Favorable conditions under the scope for leadership of the ring world construction manager. We have been able to optimize the construction workflow. Increasing the build speed considerably. 25. 20% wow well, that's awesome because we really need it <laughs> we 
need it as soon as we can get it. Oh my gosh. Alright, these guys, yeah, same thing, Bastion here. And, uh, again, it all takes that stuff, but let's do... Mm. I need to get a Dyson Sphere going. There's just no other two ways about it, so... And the safest place to put it is going to be right here. This is kind of over by itself on a little leg, a little chicken leg. What am I short on? Moats, crystals. Well, let's do moats and then do this. You're, oh, you're in good position. Yep, we're doing what we can. Boy, it's going to be something when we can finally take all these people and just move them, can't we, huh? Order restored in the EQ Monopolis. Keep, yeah, there's a bug there, Paradox. You can fix that one. I would like to take my Colossus and my, march my company of people right over here. But this just looks like a problem to me. And he keeps flying back and forth. They have some AI problems to work out with, with their enemy ships. <clears throat> like, these guys are sitting here doing nothing instead of going and smoking these guys. It's kind of like, hmm... Why are you doing it that way? Explosive weapon damage. Yeah, I need to start getting some of that. The zero zero one sequence. So what do they look like right now? Still superior. I expected the machines to destroy them, but neither one yeah, I bet neither one of them were going after each other. The odd Ben Prime says, hey, got a bunch of unemployed. Well, I don't have a lot of jobs for you left on this planet, so. In fact, I think I can take one of these. Replace it. Cab D, you got one housing left. So the best thing for you to do is add another one of these single... This is going to be as big as you can get, pretty much. What is this? Oh, it can be up... Oh, it's got a thing here. Naval Logistics Office or... Titan Assembly Yards. No, I don't think we need any. I don't think we need those two yards there because we have the Mega. Yeah, so we'll do that. Which ding to this? Yes, I know. Where is? What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. We're gonna get you down here and find out what do I need to build a Dyson Sphere. Oh, you can start building it. Well, my friend. Only 5,000. I thought we needed 10,000. We need 10,000 for the upgrades. You can start getting work. Get to work. Get busy on it right now, which would be fantastic. Oh, those are the Fallen Empire guys. Look at them. Where are they going? Where are they? They're going right, th Incoming transmission. going right through my land. Defensive Pact Invitation. Decline. You guys got me. Everybody got me in trouble at the very beginning of the game by having this stupid defensive pact. These guys just rolled out through here. That's awesome. Look at this. Here comes the Awakened Empire with 182,000 and 230,000, and they're just going to roll right in here and mow these guys down. It's going to be great. You guys do that, and I'll bring my Colossus down here, and we'll smoke these guys right there. But you do the hard work. What are you doing, chickening out and going back? Go finish these guys off. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you guys don't have a lot of happiness because we're short on clerks. Is that why? Well, why don't we do something like this? Why don't we give you... I got a whole theater. And then how many clerk jobs do you have here? You have a bunch of clerk jobs. So let's take this 
and replace it with the Galactic Stock Exchange because the merchant jobs and trade values will go up. So we'll do both of those. They'll help, uh, help fix this over here. Amenities. Anti-crime campaign. We don't need to be selling as much of this. There's no reason to be in the hole and, and losing money over that. We don't need to be selling as much as this. No reason to be losing that in the hole. <clears throat> yeah, why don't you guys... What are you doing? What are you waiting for? Yeah, exactly. You guys come in here. It's like they're coming in and then they go out. Then they leave. I don't know what they're doing. Something's... Oh, there's going to be a fight over here, though. Oh, there was, and then somebody left. There's some confusing AI work going on over here. Oh, it looks like they ate somebody. Yeah, that's a lot of ships. You guys are right there. You come flying in, and then you leave. What is this paradox? What is going on with your AI there? It's like, hmm, they're flying in, and then they're flying out. Stop teasing and go actually do something. Oh, what is this? Pirate fleet. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Not my concern. How are you guys doing over here? What do they have? What is this thing? Final flight. It's a Colossus. Oh, they're going to use a Colossus to blow that up. Wow. Well, good for them. Are they going to fire that thing? Where's their Colossus? Everybody's working on it, aren't they? Sterilization hub. Construction complete. Well. If these guys aren't going to be aggressive about it. Oh, look, now there's finally a fight going on over here. Oh, there's finally a fight going on. And the Federation won. I mean, the Fallen Empire won. Branch off is shut down. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Okay, not interested. Move along. Um, that's fantastic. I think we can drag our Colossus over there then. With a couple ships, let's take them and them. Incoming transmission. Let's bring them right here. And then let's also bring uh, the Ruination. Bring that here and bring our where's jugs exalt randy jugs i want you here and this um <laughs> that's that's how i'm gonna name things <laughs> What's what's big and strong? Drax. Commercial packed invitation, sir. That's fine. Let's get everybody over here and let's go kill this thing. They have another cluster here that's 89,000. That's a little bit of a concern. So let's bring one more fleet with us. Right there. 001 started to integrate the Hazard Collective. Oh. <laughs> Scientific that is funny, achieved. in my opinion. I didn't realize they were a, a vassal. That's funny. Food from jobs. Administrative capacity. Naval capacity is more important. Fleet command limit. Let's keep grabbing those. Okay, gentlemen. All of you guys stop right there. Yep, go right there. And we'll bring our Colossus, and we'll at least be responsible enough to go over, and we'll take one machine world. Okay, hold on. Everybody, wait here. Because <laughs> this guy just moved up, and I think he's coming for us. Or he's sitting. Yeah, I think he's going to fly right across and come for us. Denga. Is he going to fly right past the center? He is. He senses us, because we're the player character, and he's like, hey... He's going to head right for us, isn't he? Yep, there he goes. It's going to be a battle. Battle is joined. Gentlemen, 
Machine World destroyed her sterilization hub four. I'm sure that's the one they had to gloss us on. Ooh, we're getting hit hard. Complete. 65. Okay. Uh, you. You got hurt. But we got a juggernaut on board. Why don't you reinforce your fleet uh, for 9,000? Yeah, let's do it. Good. Jugs can do that. What, what are you doing? Repair your fleet. I like that. And upgrade this stuff. Juggernaut can get you guys ready and then we'll make this move down here. Oh, who just flew in here? The Arbiters. Are you guys going to take off and go down here and do this? Yep, it looks like you are. Good. Scientific breakthrough achieved. You take the lead. Um, I should have turned the edicts on. Leader experience gain, research speed. I'd rather just have research speed right now, but what is this? Monthly influence, governing ethics, attraction. He's 65. He's pretty... Oh, this guy's 19? And he's a robot. Robot output, happiness, naval capacity. Leader experience gain. Picking you. Picking you, my friend. You, you could be a leader for a long time and I wouldn't have to worry about you. So, what I'd like to do is turn the edicts back on. Here we go. The ones I haven't worried about yet. Living metal mega construction. This is going to mega construction speed. I'm lacking 599. And I can't buy it? Blark. <laughs> Blurf. <laughs> Alright. Focusing crystals for energy weapon damage, sensors, reactive armor, explosives, ammunition. Yes, turn all those on. Desperate measure ship build speed in a defensive war. I don't know if that counts or not, but we have 467,000, so I'm going to turn it on. Fortress Proclamation, I'm not so. And a Grand Fleet Naval Capacity plus 20%. And Ship Upkeep minus 20%. It's kind of huge, so I'm going to turn that on. Yeah, and he just went down here and he's going to mow that all down on his way down, which is going to be great. As soon as our fleets are... I just need to check the Juggernaut. Yeah, he's building this stuff. He's, and he's Incoming got a lot of building to do. So I think the best thing to do is start moving everybody. Incoming transmission. Invite into the Federation. Federation level 3. Diverse ethics. What is this? Galactic Union. Wily warrior clan would make a valuable ally. Hmm. Well, we're trying to win the game. Which just means I need to be better than everybody else. And I could probably use a little help. So I'll tell you what. I'm gonna... An alien empire wishes to communicate. Yeah. We'll take them. Refugees arrive. Are you moving? Are you just sitting? What are you doing? Now you're flying back out? Come on. Incoming transmission. Research agreement. I'll take that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you're going to leave this all to us, aren't you? Turkeys. Oh, what do we have here? Murder. I don't have a leader for that. Well, I do now. Incoming transmission. Yes, they want to form a commercial pack. That's fine. Anything that'll make me richer. Let's get you all right here on the doorstep. That makes it so that the juggernaut will be close behind us when we actually transport into that system. Which would be fantastic. Now we'll be part of a federation, so when the 001 decide to attack us, we'll have a reasonable defense. We'll be able to say, hey, we got a whole federation with us. Don't mess with us. Everybody ready? You're right here. Oh, you're not there yet. You're getting there. This is a thing of beauty. The year is 2486. If we can get that. If we can get this. Uh, oh, wait a minute. So who's. What's going on here? You guys didn't join with the fleet because I moved everybody. I just did a circle around it and said, oh, move. 
So let's do that. Drax and Jugs. Okay, and what is what is Jugs doing? Are you building anything now? Okay. All right, you guys ready? Actually, I just want all the ships and the Juggernaut. Nope, not Drax. Can I, can I get everybody except for? Can I just? Yeah, there we go. Dyson Sphere constructed. All right, pause. <laughs> I was about to. I want to see the. I'm going to see this battle. I know people want to see the battles. They ask me about that all the time. So we're going to go in here and buy a little bit more of that. We're going to say yes. Get the Dyson Sphere going, please. How are we looking on it? 47 days to that. To the first ring world. That's fantastic. We'll want to buy some more. Okay, let's go see about the entry in here. Shall we? Boom. Here they come. Yeah, crush him. Crush him, Sparky. The fleet will be down in moments. You may start your landing. Alright. Here's what I want you to do, buddy. Crack the world of the sterilization hub. Thank you. And meanwhile, um, I think everybody else has probably taken that all very well. Good job. Okay, where are we? Are we at ring, ring world time? Yes, we are. Okay, let's build. We don't quite have enough to build the next one, but we can send colonists by golly. Colonize the ring world. I want to do this with the wily warrior clan. My people. Wily. Right here. Those guys. Have a... Ring A. Alright. Well, this has been a long episode. At the start of the next episode, we're going to see this thing crack this world. That's where we're going to stop it. Folks, I'm beyond thrilled where we're at right now. I still don't know if we can actually win the game. But, considering where we were in episodes 5 and 8, I feel pretty good about this. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. As usual, if you dig the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. If you like the channel, think about subscribing. And if you really like the channel and want to see me keep doing videos in my smooth FM radio voice, my Patreon's listed in the description below. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>